Hello everyone, I'm Susie from Kinda Techie Teachers and I'm gonna show you how I teach. I am in my third grade math class. Disclaimer, I have just taught I am this year, the school year for the first time ever. And it's also my first year teaching third grade math because I changed grade levels. So my school has our I am curriculum through uh, Learn Zillion and pretty much you can go into your grade level and find the curriculum through your grade level and teach it via the slides on here. Here's an example of what lessons would look like on uh, the curriculum through Learn Zillion. You go through these slides, I guess you could present it or do it other ways. I don't really know the full potential of using the online system. I did it differently. I used the planning guides created by uh, Brittany White on Facebook, I am group, um, and she has created these curriculum alignment guides that I used to follow like how many days of the week I'm going to be teaching it and what lesson I'm going to be on on that certain day of the week. I then created the slideshows um, in a form that I can access next year quite easily by putting each unit into um, present mode slideshow. So if I'm gonna teach lesson one in unit three, I go to my slides, I click on the present mode, and this is what my students would see during my math lesson. I would be going through the slides like this with them and it shows up on my whiteboard and we write on the whiteboard and we put answers on the whiteboard and we discuss. Now, while they are seeing the lessons on the whiteboard, they are also seeing it in their math book. And the same things that are on the slides uh, are also in here. So they're completing the work while I'm teaching them. Did I use the teacher guides at all? No. After they go through the warm up and maybe a problem with me, I split them up into math groups. Then they work in their math groups to complete a couple of the problems that are in that unit that we're working on. Then we go over the problems together and synthesize and try to come up with um, a good explanation of what we learned that day, followed by a cool down, which I call an exit ticket, which I print from the curriculum, pass out. The kids take the little quiz. I get to see how they're doing, what they learned, if they need reteaching, and then we move on. When it comes to centers, I have them organized in bins with all the supplies needed for that specific um, center ready to go. I also have this um, summary for each unit and each section. That way I can grab and go and know exactly what game to play during that week. For more about centers, please watch part two. I'm sorry I couldn't fit it in. <laughs>